Hey, how's it going, you guys? This is Paul Max C, and I thought I would do a part two of my wax pack collection. If you don't know what wax packs are, it's those like baseball pack things. Except I, I pretty much do non-sport ones and do more movies and and that. And you did not see my whole collection. That other video was from like a year or two ago. All right, let's start it off. I kind of labeled things out to help myself out, and I kind of like how I how I did all this. Now that the money's spent and some time's gone by, you know, I've kind of packaged everything pretty nicely. These are called... By the way, what's up? Alright, these are called Video City. And, um... These don't come so cheap. And I got a nice collection of them. And, especially for my video game... I realize a lot of my friends who were into video games in Atari Age Facebook page got excited about... So I'm thinking about a lot about you guys. These are called Video City. Look, it says Best Video Games. And if, I'm pretty sure there's like Frogger, maybe Pole Position. I, I, I knew what it was before. There's about four or five different video game scratch cards you might find here. It says three, three rub-off game cards, three stickers. Yeah, three stickers, one stick bubble gum. Now, unfortunately, these when you get into these rub-off games that are like 40 years old, you may find that they're not playable. Like, you try rubbing them, and you just break the card. And look at this, I got a nice collection of these. And they're in good shape. I'm glad I invested in Video City. And, um... I'm gonna let those uh, mature as far as value. Now, I've shown this box before, but not, not in depth enough. Here's a nice stack of ones that are kind of unique. I tried to get unique ones because anyone can get some old, some baseball cards from the 80s. But this says World of Stamps, five cents. It's got to be, it doesn't have a date. It's got to be from the 60s, right? My old stamp collecting is fun, popular, blah, blah. Um, that's probably my oldest one. I got the $6 million man, just one pack I have. It's kind of skinny. And that one has more value than, than many. The six million dollar man. Gong Show. Just one of these. That's a little more unique too. These are more older, like 70s. Crazy Comic. Sealed, as always. Nasty Tricks. It says, fool your friends. And who knows what's in there. Look like a fake credit card. You probably can't fool too many people, but Nasty Trick sounds like a fun one. That's more valuable. Monster Initial. Just have one. Remember how you would get these things from the Ice Cream Man or something? CB Talk. CB Talk. I remember like walkie, t uh, you know, walkie talkies and like CBs were big. Stick it to them. <laughs> that looks kind of 70s. Probably not 60s. And a lot of stickers plus six cards. And I'm proud of this little stack right here. That That's why I kind of bag them and then re-bag them. Um, underneath, we got some Return of the Jedi. Got a good collection of Return of the Jedi. And I would think Luke and Vader ones are the best. There's also Ewok. Return of the Jedi cards are not as valuable as the Star Wars. There's Vader. I made sure, I probably sold some off and made sure to have a solid collection of Vader and Luke. And um, I had to have Return of the Jedi. These are really nice. I And just the way I'm storing these, I mean, I just kind of broke, I could feel like they were stuck together a little, just really airtight. And that's pretty good. Now, I've shown before that I had Three's Company, but I didn't show you what was underneath the pack. Let's see what's up. I love Three's Company, the show, and I had to get a few of these. Um, oh, King Kong. That's probably one of my more valuable wax packs. I only have one of them. Um, I've shown this before. Dukes of Hazard. Just only have one that I think of, but it's in good shape. Black hole. Not not expensive, not valuable, but it's cool. 
Star Star Trek the Motion Picture. You could probably get money for a bunch of these. I only have one, but probably valuable. Dinosaurs Attack. Nothing special, but it's not always about the money. It's just having a variety. Now, would I buy like a hundred Dinosaurs Attacks? Probably not. But um, you know what I mean. But um, still, it's all good. Oh yeah, I'm not done over here. Still got more of Return of the Jedi. There's Jabba the Hutt ones down there. And um, there's the Ewok on the Return of the Jedi. I made sure to have plenty of those. Jaws 2. Another Jaws 2. Grease. Not really valuable, but it was worth having at least one. Oh, there's a sport. I got some soccer stickers. The fact that they're stickers and it's soccer, that's a little bit more unique. So I kept it in my collection. Somehow I have these tiny tune ones. Five cards, one sticker. Uh, 1990 drag cards. Sometimes you get freebies when you buy off people. Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> I don't think too many people want those. Close Encounters. That's another that's not really valuable. Now check this out, you guys. I probably shouldn't even show you this because now you're going to want me to, to sell you some. I once spent some money on a lot of... A lot as in a bunch, but also a lot as in a physical lot, like a group of Empire Strikes Back cards. On eBay right now, there's some suckers trying to sell like three of these for like 700 bucks. And if that sells, <laughs> I would be stoked, but I think it's just somebody trying to sucker you in for your money. Red and Blue is, uh, I think, the first and second series. And these are all Empire Strikes Back. Um, and I got... All these stacks go about four deep and about four across. So I got a good amount of these Empire Strikes Back cards. Now I remember in the lot, there was a lot of worn edges a little bit. And I gave them away to kids, maybe opened up a few packs. and kept the best ones. If I were to sell these, I'd have to... Actually, these all look pretty good. But I mean, microscopically, I would have to admit to someone, you know, you might find little breaks in the corners of the edges. But I like how these are doing pretty good. Yeah, this is a nice fat box of Empire Strikes Back. And I'm glad. It's good to see them. Now over here, I once showed my Cindy Lauper and Kiss. But underneath, I got these Miss Pac-Mans. And the Miss Pac-Man ones can cost some money. You know, uh... Video game, really nice condition. I'm really glad I bought these. I'm sure I could sell them if I wanted to, if I needed the money. Oh, there's some Simpsons. There's a Saturday Night Fever. Another Saturday Night Fever. The Kiss, those are valuable. They really are. Moonraker, all right. More Miss Pac-Man, I showed you that. Let's see what's under the Kiss here. Oh, yes. They had Super Pac-Man, and I wanted them. There was a Rocky two, and then Super Pac-Man. Want to see a closer look? Super Pac-Man, not really thick. It says Rub Off Games, stickers, bubble gum. And I have a feeling these Rub Off Games on all these may not work. It could just be calcified, petrified, I don't know what the word is, where you try scratching and you're just breaking the card. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to keep these sealed. If I sold them someday, which is... Since I don't have anyone to leave them to when I die. There's Alien. Alien 1, that's kind of old and probably worth something. I mean, I bought these with because I kind of found delight in them. Kind of got caught up in it for a second. A minute, as young people say. And then just kind of realized I had enough. And, you know, slowed down. These have value to people. Nintendo cards. Some of you younger people might remember these. These were not... These kind of came after my day. But I, I saw the value in them, and I bought up a bunch of these Nintendo pack cards. Look. And, um... These always sell. Kind of like bar Garbage Pail Kids. I'm not in the phase yet where I'm selling off this collection. I just... The plan was to buy them and store them away real good. And, um, later... I bought this off a guy who promised that this is the complete 
set of these, and I believe them, loose. And he kind of packed it like this, and I never opened it. I believe there's about 66. So I, I have a complete set of the Nintendo cards if you were to open the package. So it's kind of cool how I've got the sealed packages, and then I've got loose ones. And I've got a bunch of... I've got the similar thing from Empire Strikes Back, where I've got like a whole... a solid pack, and then like... And then like, and then like loose ones too. All right, well this video went a long time, and believe it or not, I have enough of these for a third installment. Garbage Pail Kids and some kind of funny, like, like nerdy, like wacky high school kids theme one, and um, and some other rarities and some unique ones. That, like, that was like my first. I'm putting them up here, and I just keep them up here, and I just took those down. And that third part that I'm pointing at, that'll be my group, my next video. Basically, up there is a whole other stack of, of them, and I, I'll have, be happy to show another video of those a little bit later. Now I want to put these away and make it all nice like I had it, but it was fun to share. All right, this was a long video, but maybe you were intrigued, and um, some of you guys asked if I would trade or sell. Eh, maybe peel off just a tiny bit of the things I have a lot of. Um, I'll think about it. All right, have a good night. Thanks for watching.